Would you have been in 1996, roughly? Just, um, you know, give me let's see. I, I would have been 49 years old. 49. Wow. So this is what when I mentioned really earlier at the beginning. I mentioned ex inspiring. This is inspiring to me. So Eddie is 49 years old. He decides after a great career and probably could keep running and going for no problem. I'm going to bail out and I'm going to make a career change and do something else. Tell me what's running through your head because I, I, I'm like flabbergasted that someone would do that um, and admiring at the same time. It's like, you know, I thought that was awesome. And and then we'll go through what you actually did after that, which is even more mind boggling. Take it from there. Well, um, it was pretty nervous. A lot of, wasn't lot of pressure uh, on you right there, right? A lot of pressure. Well, <laughs> no, 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 no pressure because you know why? It worked out. Uh, if it hadn't yeah. worked out, it would be a different conversation. But uh, uh, it was very nervy to walk away <coughs> from a 33-year career and uh, very brave on the part of my wife of what was then uh, only about nine years. And we, we had two children by that time. Uh, mm -hmm. it, was, um, it was not an easy decision. And for everybody that's thinking about some of the things we've said earlier, uh, this wasn't a thing where I walked away with no job, although technically I didn't have a J-O-B job to go to. Uh, we referred to a little bit of the beat on beat, dance party mixing and things like that. I had built a, uh, uh, a pretty solid base of income from uh, a series of dance parties and not just kind of playing weddings or something like that. I, I think we did over 100 parties per year for almost 20 years with that little company of ours. And that gave me the opportunity to change careers, go back to school, uh, get a new degree and not have a J-O-B because I was fortunate enough to have put together that uh, what had been outside money for the radio jobs to, excuse me, to be my support during this change. So I went back to school, uh, got an MBA, and the short version is uh, uh, Ford Motor Company came through to recruit at Michigan State University, where I was, go green, and uh, uh, <laughs> hired, hired me into Ford Motor Company. And 22 years later, September of 2022, I retired from Ford Motor Company with a second career. <laughs>